Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. Today, for our main meal of the day, we're going to have some, um, really what's kind of smothered pork chops, but they're going to be in with some rice. We're going to have some veal peas, some kale, and we're going to have some tomato aspic. We're going to use some of the gelatin, and I'm going to try to make this really fast. So I'm going to be putting it in the freezer, and I'll stir it every once in a while and hope that works. So, and we're also going to use the blender for this. So let me turn this down. First thing we're going to do, I've already boiled some uh, water in the microwave, half a cup. I'm just going to dump that in. It's very hot. And I'm going to use two envelopes of the gelatin. And I don't have any basil. If I had basil, I would use basil, but I don't. So I'm just going to use a little bit of parsley. So we're going to use two envelopes. We're just going to turn it on on low. Hope it doesn't splash up. So now we're going to go ahead and dump in some uh, petite diced tomatoes. This is no salt. And uh, what I'm going to do is just put about half the can in and just go ahead and use the blender and then we'll put the rest of the can in. Yeah, I put them in the freezer to get them cold. So let's see. Okay, that's probably about half the can. And uh, I'm not going to put the uh, parsley in until we get that mixed up a little bit. All right, here we go again. And we'll cut this off so y'all don't have to put up with that loud noise. So hold on. All right, I think we got that pretty well mixed up. And so we're going to dump the rest of the tomatoes in now. Well, wait a minute. We need to put some sugar in. This is one third of a cup of brown sugar. Let me just mix that up again real quick. All right, that ought to work. All right, so now we're going to dump the rest of the tomatoes in. And we're going to put the parsley in. Now we're just going to barely mix this up now. I just got my bowl out of the freezer. All right, just barely mix it up. And that's good right there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this in the freezer, and I'll be stirring it every once in a while, and maybe every five minutes or so, and see if we can't get this ready by the time we have the rest of our meal ready. All right, there's what it looks like in the bowl. We're going to put it in the freezer. We'll be back. All right, we are ready to make our pork chops, and we're going to brown them first. Now, we don't want any flour. We're not going to roll them in any flour at all. We just want them brown. So I've got my skillet here to heat it up a little bit, maybe a little too much. So I'm going to put a little oil in there. And we're just going to brown these little uh, pork chops. There are four of them. They're about a half inch thick and they're uh, boneless. So I'm just going to brown them on both sides. There they are. I'm just going to scoot them off in the skillet. Let me turn this down so you can see. All right. All we're going to do is just brown them on both sides, and this is 
sort of on a medium high heat. All right, and the other thing I've already done is uh, I was able to get some kale from the uh, store, and it was just 98 cents a bunch, which is really cheaper than getting really canned vegetables. And uh, so I've already washed it and cleaned it real well, and I'm going to make this in my regular pressure cooker. And it will only take about three minutes with the steam up on high, and then I'll take the pot over to the sink and run some uh, water right on the edge of it and cool it down because we don't want it to the steam to stay up for really more than three minutes. But I'm not ready to fix that right now. We just need to get these pork chops brown. All right, and once they're brown on both sides, we'll be back. Okay, we have uh, transferred the uh, pork chops that we've just gotten uh, browned in the skillet to another pot. This is that Pioneer Lady pot. And I'm actually going to move it over to the smaller burner once I get everything in there. So this is about four uh, stalks of celery along with some of the inner leaves. One medium onion. Now we're going to put that in the uh, food processor and we're going to grind these up, not completely, but sort of. Now you can uh, chop those up small if you want to. You don't have to have a food processor for this, but I just like it all chopped up. All right. Hold on now. Here we go. what we got. You can still see some of the uh, celery in there, but there are no strings or anything. All right, we're going to dump this right in on top of the pork chops. Now there's going to be a lot of water, of course, in both the onion and in the celery. that out over top of those pork chops and then on top of that we're going to put this is three-fourths of a cup of jasmine rice I'm just going to sprinkle it right on the top and then on top of the rice we're going to add one envelope of the Lipton onion soup now this is the uh, same pack that I used. Uh, the other pack comes with two packs in the uh, meatloaf. So I'm just going to sprinkle that right on top of the uh, rice. And then we're going to add one and a half cups of water. And remember there's going to be water in the celery and in the onions. And I've got the pork chops on the bottom. All right, and we might need to add a little more water once this starts cooking. So hold on, I'm going to move y'all back. I'm going to put it on this little burner here, because this is a ceramic pot, and you really don't want it to be on a burner that's wider than the bottom of it. All right, so we're going to let this cook. I'm going to bring it up. Oops, sorry. I'm going to bring it up to a boil, and then I'm going to cut it down to about medium low and let it simmer. I might have to add more water. We'll just wait and see. All right, y'all. We'll be back when this is ready. Now, before it completely gets ready, I'm going to go ahead and cook the kale. And again, that takes three minutes in this pressure cooker, so I don't have to be worried about that for a while. All right, so this should be cooking, I don't know, let's say 30 or 40 minutes just whenever the rice gets done and the onions and the celery are all done. All right, we'll be back. All right, we are just about ready to eat. Here's what the pork chops and rice look like. And we're, oops, fogged up my screen, sorry. And uh, here's the uh, kale. It took three minutes in the uh, stove top pressure cooker. And I fixed some field peas with snaps over here. Those were frozen and this turned out really, really well. I had it in the freezer, and in just a few minutes it had already set, probably because I'd used two em uh, envelopes of the uh, 
gelatin. And we're going to have some sliced peaches. Now, what I do with those is put um, some sugar on them, maybe in this amount, maybe a third of a cup, and let them sit kind of at room temperature, and they start the juice starts running out of them. And then when we're ready to have our dessert, I'll put a little uh, cream on them. All right, y'all, I've got to fix the tea, and we'll show you what it looks like on the plate. We'll be back. All right, here it is on the plate, the pork chop, the uh, rice, and uh, fresh uh, kale, and veal peas with snaps, and there's this little tomato aspic. And it probably done better if I had boiled it, uh, but I didn't want to uh, boil it and then it not be ready. You see it definitely got uh, uh, set. And of course we're having the peaches as our dessert. We'll put a little um, cream on those in the bowl and I'm letting them sit there with some sugar on them to cause the juice to run. And we've got our iced tea. All right, we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.